combina uh, making a combination of a lot of things. Here. So to begin with, this is a variation from a move called flower sweep. Flower sweep is when I bring his arm here to my chest and I grab his pants down here and I post one foot on the ground and I kick my other leg on his armpit, okay? And then I go to the mouth. So this is called flower sweep. So the move that we're doing, it's a variation more sophisticated if the flower sweep doesn't work against you, okay? So this is what we do. It is called single leg and the hook sweep from the wrong flower sweep. Remember the term, wrong. Wrong because I will begin wrong, just like the lateral clock choke. I had the wrong grips. So if I want to do flower sweep on him, if I want to sweep him that way, the reason why I capture this arm is so I don't allow him to post the hand on the ground. Then there's no sweeping, he's going to stop me. So jiu-jitsu is thought about from the beginning, where I grab and why, okay? So if I grab the wrong arm, and the same grip on the pants, if I do the flower sweep motion on Adrian, he will post the hand and he will never allow me to sweep him. And that's exactly what I want him to do, okay? I want to capture this leg here. But right now, as he's sitting, this leg is heavy with his weight on top of him, okay? That's why I'm using that trick, just to open the opportunity here for me. So I capture the wrong arm, the same leg. I do this flower sweep motion. And as soon as he's here, I'm going to swim with his hand underneath his leg here. We'll go right here. Okay? When I do fast, you see this can be done much easier. So as at this point right now, he's going to be sitting back to recoup his position. As he's doing this, I'm going to bring his ankle to me. It's on my sh on, by my shoulder, and I use my elbow joint, not my hand, to do this. Okay? Don't sit down like that because I can just mount you right there. Try to stay on the knees here. Yeah, because right now you just gave me the mount. Right? So you will give me the bump no matter what, but it, that was too soon. So we'll do this part. Uh, you see how it is done? And I immediately switched my grip here. Okay? Now my fight here is very simple. I will just fight him to make sure I keep this leg extended and by my head with my elbow controlling him here, like this. I'm fighting just to make sure I have this. Huh. Now he's in his mind, what's in his mind? He wants to regroup. He wants to make sure, he may, right now he's uncomfortable, because nobody's comfortable sitting that way. He's worried about the leg, he's worried about the foot. He is worried about his balance. I can easily get on top of him right now. So in his mind is, I want to regroup, I want to make sure I have a good balance here, which is awkward. Isn't it? Feels awkward, right? So my battle here is to do, not, to do nothing. It's just to be here with him and ask him, all right, try to go back to your position, go. If he's there like doing nothing, I'll just try and go him right now. <laughs> but he's gonna probably try to move, let's go. Uh, it's uncomfortable, you know? Now that he knows that there's a triangle, he's worried about this here. Even more, you know? And whenever you feel like you can attack, it's all about not rushing things. You can just open your guard and roll to the side. Because he doesn't have a foot to post, he doesn't have a hand to post, there's no resistance. You can just roll to the side that you're captured. And there we go, I'm on the mouth now. So one more time. So you get the wrong grip, do the move, oh. sit down right here, and whenever you're ready, you open the guard and start rolling to the side. Oh. Sounds good? Give it a try. Let's go. 